The dilution formula can be used to solve a variety of dilution problems, so we'll introduce it here. We'll also show you several variations of this formula. The formula we'll use in the examples that follow is C1V1 is equal to C2V2, where C1 is the initial concentration, V1 is the initial volume, C2 is the final concentration, and V2 is the final volume. It's always important when using this formula to make sure that V1 and V2 are in the same units. If they're in different units in the question, then one of them will have to be converted. Different teachers in different textbooks use different variations of the dilution formula. The one we'll use here is C1V1 is equal to C2V2. Another common one is M1V1 is equal to M2V2, where M is the molarity or molar concentration. Another one is CIVI equals CFVF, where I means initial and F means final. And this equation is also commonly written with the final concentration and volume on the left side. Another form assumes that the initial solution is concentrated and the final solution is dilute. This does occur when water is added to a concentrated solution in order to dilute it. In still another variation, square brackets are used to denote the final and initial concentrations. The most common type of dilution calculation is determining the final concentration of a solution after it's been diluted. So students are often encouraged to remember the equation which solves for the final concentration. Solving this equation for final concentration, C2, gives C2 equals C1V1 over V2. Solving this equation for final concentration, M2, gives M2 is equal M1V1 over V2. Solving this equation for final concentration, CF, gives CF equals CIVI over VF. And this one, solving for the final concentration of the dilute solution, gives C dilute is equal to C concentrated times V concentrated over V dilute. And solving this one that uses square brackets for final concentration gives final concentration is equal to initial concentration times initial volume over final volume. One way to remember that the initial volume is on top is that like a happy face, both eyes are on top. The ratio of initial volume to final volume is often called the dilution factor. All forms of the dilution formula shown in this introduction are equally valid. It's always best to use the one that you're most familiar with and most confident with. The examples in the following videos will start with this form of the equation and derive what is needed to obtain the answer to the problem. Note that using any of the other variations of the dilution formula could also be used to obtain the correct answers. Another simple equation is frequently used to calculate the final volume when water is added to initial solution. The final volume V2 equals the initial volume V1 plus the volume of water added. In other words, when you're adding water, the total volume V2 will be the sum of the initial volume V1 and the volume of water added. Of course, when using this equation, the two volumes that you're adding must be in the same unit. Each one of the five example videos following this one shows a slightly different type of dilution problem and how it can be solved using the dilution formula. For each example, it's best to pause the video when the problem is stated and try to work it out yourself first. Then you can view the rest of the video to check your solution.